Hey guys, Dan here. Just wanted to show you a couple of things I came across last week on this little uh, yard machine snowblower. This was uh, something I was doing a quick tune-up on and repairing some wheels. First thing were these plastic wheels. These things are um, dangerous. They ha actually had a recall because the tires, people were um, putting too much air in the tires and they were actually exploding. So I've replaced them here with a a new style wheel. It's a steel wheel with a tire and tube in it, and it um, it comes like that. They're about 35 bucks dealer cost. Here's the model and serial on it, and um, the engine's a five and a half horse, like a little L head 195 cc. So um, just want to show you this issue I came across, and it was a strip spark plug thread. So the customer had put a plug in it at some point and stripped it out, never said anything to me. So I had ordered the wheels and some other parts for it, so I was really locked in to repair it. And um, here we go. So I didn't have a cylinder head for this five and a half horse, so I said, you know what, why don't we try this fix-a-thread kit? I've seen these all the time around, and uh, I know people use them, and they say they work pretty well. So I started taking it apart, and uh, my plan was to um, pull the head off it and um, bring it up on the bench and then thread the new spark plug threads into the cylinder head and uh, put the insert in. <clears throat> but as I started to torque on the head bolts, I, I could tell that they weren't going to come out. I, I know they were bending and kind of stretching and I knew I would break it off. And uh, I didn't want to spend the afternoon drilling these things out. Uh, that'll be a total shitstorm. So I really didn't have any choice. So what I ended up doing was um, taking the tool and threading it into the cylinder just to see how far down it would go. And turns out it only went down a little ways before it'll bump into the uh, top of the engine. So um, in the end, uh, I really didn't have any choice and uh, I was forced to take that tool and um, and cut the small end off the tip of the tool, which was uh, like a thread chaser for the original threads, and then uh, use the tool to tap the threads right in place. So um, here you can see I've, I've used the tools. I've tapped it right in place. I know that's not good practice to uh, make a bunch of aluminum threads in there, but I uh, what I did was just close both valves and um, blew it all out with the air hose after. So here, this is the original tip of the tool, and I just took my whizzer and cut the, cut the tip off, and I used the um, uh, tapered, uh, you can see it's got a big taper in it here, and that starts the cut, and then it threads in. And son of a bitch, that thing cut right into that soft aluminum and made a really, really nice thread. So um, this isn't something I would do every day I wouldn't recommend it but uh, in this case I didn't have a choice with the kit they give you three insert sizes you can see there's threads on it and then there's um, like a little knurled pattern so what you do is you thread that thing in and then you take their tool here and uh, you see the, the knurl is at the top you hand thread the thing in and then they have a tool that actually you, you put in there it's just a, a round bar tool and then you slam the hammer down on the tool a few times and what it does is it pushes the um, uh, the, the neural out into the head so here's the tool you can see I'm giving it a couple of taps with the hammer and um, uh, you gotta be careful you don't want of course you don't want to break the head um, but um, just put a couple of taps in there to get it set in and um, then I blew all the aluminum out and uh, <clears throat> threaded the spark plug in and boy that thing thread right in nice I was uh, lucky enough to get it square so the, th the plug seals up nicely and um, uh, kind of saved me from having to um, either put another engine on it or drill out a bunch of broken off cylinder uh, head bolts so um, again I wouldn't recommend uh, doing something like this as a standard practice but in this situation um, this thing's kind of on its last legs and I just didn't have much of a choice thanks for watching